meteorologist Ryan Matouche. All right, welcome back everyone and a good evening. A nice night ahead with temperatures fairly mild for this time of year. Light breeze will move into the area for tomorrow. Made a little note right here. K-State game. We got a big one coming up against Alabama. Should be a nice day, both if you're heading out to uh, tailgate beforehand or even during the game. It's going to be a great afternoon. Drive for New Year's. We're not expecting a whole lot of rain until showers early on Monday. And then we could be seeing some uh, rumbles of thunder in the area, but generally not expecting too much for the beginning of the work week. Outside our satellite and radar, we have mostly clear skies right now, but notice the cloud cover in the surrounding region that will become much more abundant heading into the next several days. I do want to drift out west, though. You might be asking why. Well, this is the focus point for our next system. Right now, I made another note that we have something called an atmospheric river delivering lots of moisture and rain to northern California. We won't see quite as much rain, but we will be seeing the impacts from that system heading into the beginning of the work week. I'll dive into that more here in just a second. Junction City showing us a lovely evening ahead. Temperatures generally in the upper 30s and lower 40s. A little bit of a wind chill in the area. Winds out of the east, generally about five miles an hour. OK, temperatures today. We did manage to reach that 50 degree mark. It was wonderful today. A good 10 degrees above average for this time of year, and that will only continue to climb heading into the next couple of days. Waking up early Saturday morning, lower to middle 30s across northeast Kansas. And then the second half of the day, notice all these middle 50s across the I-70 corridor. That's about 15 degrees above average, and that's going to be a great way to wrap up 2022. And the first day of 2023 should be another fantastic day. Upper 50s, maybe even some lower 60s near Burlington and Emporia. Wind speeds not going to be a big problem at all out of the southeast, generally 5, 10 miles an hour. Tomorrow afternoon, though, we could be seeing gusts about 20 miles an hour. Again, I'm not overly concerned about it, but you'll notice a light breeze in the region. All right, let's run through future track here. We're going to notice a big increase in cloud cover heading towards the midnight hour tonight. Clouds stick around for most of the day tomorrow, despite reaching those middle 50s. Just notice the lack of precipitation. It's going to be a nice weekend, great for New Year's activities, and it's not until Monday where we start to see some rain chances push in. But notice how far east they are. Models are not giving us the best chances, but we could be seeing a few drops for the second half of our Monday. And then early Tuesday morning, we have some snow wintry mix up to the north side of the border. If that drops down, could be seeing a snowflake or two, but it's just a little bit too far out for the time being. Tonight, 31 degrees, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. Winds will remain rather light. We got that big game tomorrow, Alabama kickoff at 11 a.m. If you're heading out beforehand, notice temperatures in the lower 40s. And then for the rest of the game, we should be wrapping up in the lower to middle 50s, making for just a fantastic Saturday. Uh, wind should not be too big of a problem. Our forecast for the week, middle 50s, Saturday and Sunday, Monday, uh, we're going to be seeing a quick chance for some showers for the second half of the day. But before that rain gets here, we're talking nearly 60 degrees and the rest of the week pretty average with 30s and 40s. You know, I will take average over those freezing temperatures. Yes, I was hibernating for several days. I didn't want anything to do. With I think a lot of us were hibernating. Probably for the best. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Of course.